up welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing a little candle collection video um, I just got this like cubicle type shelf because I see it in a lot of people's um, like organization and I've been trying to get my room a little more organized and stuff and it was a pain to build this thing and it's finally built so I wanted to come on organize my um, candles in it and I thought I might as well give you guys like my candle collection my current candle collection while I'm going through and getting all of this organized so this is definitely a different type of video for me I don't normally do this kind of video but I thought it would be kind of fun and different to have here on my channel so I'm not going to be going in any rhyme or reason really with the candles, it's just going to kind of be random. Um, so let's go ahead and get on into it. So I'm going to start off with single wicks. I have a random mixture of them so let's just get on into it. Um, the first one I have here is actually Marshmallow Fireside. This is one of the older Bath & Body Works like jar style ones. So I have this one which I think is on its literal last leg. It is Green Apple Orchard and I loved this candle so much. I might be able to burn it like one more time but I wish that they would bring this scent back. I love it. Then I also have Sweater Weather here, Harvest Pomegranate, also a great one. This is so fruity and sweet. This is actually a new one for me. It's Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. One of my best friends got this for me for my birthday. Can't wait to burn it for the fall season. Waikiki Beach Coconut. Very summery. I also have Mango Mai Tai. This one is Harvest Gathering. I have last year's Vampire Blood. I also have this one which is Hello Gorgeous. <laughs> and it's Pumpkin Spice Latte. The last two Bath & Body Works ones I have here, I have Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla. This one smells incredible. I'm obsessed with this set, I love it. I'm gonna put her front row and center. And then another fall favorite is actually pumpkin apple. I love pumpkin apple. It is such a great one. So if you haven't tried pumpkin apple, this is a fall staple for sure. I actually have the three wick burning in my room right now. I love this one. A Huntington Home one from Aldi's. And this is the cereal milkshake. This smells really good. I'm about almost more than half. I have like one fourth left in this one. But I love the Huntington Home ones and they're super affordable as well if you haven't checked them out. You guys definitely should. This one's actually from Walmart. It's one of the mainstays. It's this Two Scoops Please Lemon Marshmallow Vanilla Candle. This one actually smells really great and it's also a great dupe for the Bath & Body Works ones. It's like the exact same size. So if you're looking for more affordable options, definitely check out the mainstays ones because they're actually really good. I have this one which is actually a Fruit Loops little candle um, by Firefly Home. My sister got me this for a birthday gift and I love it. It smells so good. A piece of cake. It's by Poppy Rose Candle Co. on Etsy. This candle is so cool because it has little sprinkles in the inside that burn when you melt them and this smells to die for just like cake. It's so good. And then my friend who got me that candle had also got me this one and it's by Cool Girl Candles. I think they have an Etsy and also they have their own website but this one is called This Smells Like Miles Teller. I love Miles Teller and it's so funny that they found a candle with this so it's just a really cute one that makes me laugh. So I have a couple other single wick ones that I'm going to put more in the back there. This Yankee Candle Candy Cane Lane. This one's perfect for winter time. A great candy cane peppermint scent that's like very sweet. I have one other one that's by Yankee Candle called Salt Miss Peony. That is a single wick. Okay, then I actually have two more single wicks. This, These are by DW Home. They're a little bit bigger. I have this I Love You A Latte. You can see that strawberry vanilla latte. So I love that these are shaped like little coffee cups. So I don't know where I'm going to put those ones just yet. I might put them on this shelf if I can find some room. And then I also have this one that is sea salt latte. Himalayan sea salt latte. So those are my two DW home candles. All right, you guys. Now over here, I'm going to go in with some more fallish candles that I have. Um... The more pumpkin-y or makes me think of fall type of candles. 
So the first one I'm gonna have, which is actually more of a winter candle technically, is the Fireside. It smells like a bonfire, straight up bonfire. <laughs> like, literally it smells like you're sitting beside the Fireside. So it kind of gives me fall vibes, so I'm gonna include it. The weather is one of my new favorites. I love this candle and I can't wait to keep burning it. Next we have Miss Pumpkin Apple. I told you guys I love pumpkin apple, so this is my new one for the year have blueberry maple pancakes. I haven't burnt this one yet, but I'm really excited to, and I love the lid style of these jars. This one is from Huntington Home, and I've used about half of it. It is called Pumpkin Ginger Snap. Here is another Huntington Home one called Pumpkin Cream Cookie. This one's actually one of my favorites. It is so strong. I hope they bring it back this year because I'm burning this one very sparingly. I love it. Here is Pumpkin Carving. I love this packaging and the little spider web top. And this is Banana Walnut Muffin. This is so good. I'm obsessed with this candle. And if you guys haven't tried this one, you definitely need to. It's perfect. This is pumpkin pecan waffles. This one smells so great as well. This is like a fall favorite, I think, for a lot of people. Even if you don't like obsess over Bath & Body Works candles, you probably have this candle <laughs> because everyone just loves it. Also have two of the pumpkin peanut brittle candles because one of them was defective. So I think I'm gonna use it on like a candle warmer but um, I have two of those and I love this candle. It smells so good. It's like one of my new fall favorites. So if you guys haven't tried this one, I think it's an online exclusive, so you'll have to order it online, but this one is so bomb. And the last one I'm going to include back there is actually a Huntington Home candle and this one is called Apple Harvest. This one is a really good thrower as well. It's very strong. Okay, so this is right below this fall shelf. Um, I am going to do another one that's kind of more fallish scents because I love fall and I have a lot of fall candles. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stack them yet or just have them one by one. We'll see how they all fit on this organizer. <laughs> so the first one I'm gonna start off with is Black Cherry Merlot. This isn't necessarily fall, but it gives me kind of fall energy, so we'll put her back there Huntington home candle called a haunting we will go it's like a fruity type of candle it kind of smells um kind of smells honestly like vampire blood like they tried to do a version of vampire blood so I have that one I have a honey glazed pear cider and this one actually smells really great as well I have the perfect autumn, which I'm so sad this one is almost gone, but this smells so good. I want to get another one of this because I love it. I love this packaging too. I don't think the packaging they have this year is quite as cute, but this is a really good candle. And then you guys, this is one of my all-time favorite candles. It is called Wine Cellar, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere. And it's on Mercari and things, but it's so expensive. I hope they bring this back one day because... This is like a treasure to me and I have not that much left, but it is so good. I love it. Bath & Body Works, if you're watching this, please bring that candle back. We have Smoked Pumpkin Cider from Huntington Home. This one isn't really very um, fall, but it's called White Peach Cobbler. It's a cobbler. That's fallish, right? So that's that one. I have Mahogany Apple. This is a new one for me. It smells really great. It's technically a winter candle. It's called Vanilla Birch, but it's fallish to me and I really enjoy this one. Paris Cafe. This is a love. I love this candle so much. Vanilla and Paris Cafe mixed collab. I don't know what they're exactly called, but this smells delicious. Two of my favorite candles combined. And then I also have a couple years back, this is the hot cocoa and cream candle and I love it so much. So good, has the snowflake lid. So that shelf is complete. Let's go on over to this one next. This shelf is not going to be in literally any order at all, it's just going to be by random. Um, but here is hot fudge drizzle delicious <laughs> we have toasted coconut cupcake 
pink watermelon. This one smells like Jolly Rancher candies. It's crazy. So good. This one is pineapple pound cake. I also really love this one. It's endless weekend and I have like not much left in there at all, but very good candle. This one was perfect to like burn in my bedroom. Two cactus blossom uh, candles, but in different packaging. This one is full. I haven't burned it yet. It's the white barn style packaging. And then I also have this one that is cactus blossom. I love this packaging. This one looks a little funky, um, but I want to use this one up first. Very cute. Has been a current favorite. It's the chocolate chip cookie. This smells like like cookies that you just took like right out of the oven. It smells so delicious. Have love cotton candy champagne. This is a very sweet candle. And I also have the Hope Winter Peach and Marshmallow. This one I only have about half left, but this is a great smell as well. Have a Island Margarita candle. I also have the buttery popcorn. Here are the candles so far. I don't know what I want to do with those DW Home ones, but here it is so far. So on to the next two shelves. I actually have two of these. It's the Black Cherry Fruit Pop candle. I really love this one and I found them at SAS. So I have this one and then I have a brand new one that I haven't used yet. It has a different lid because these ones didn't come with lids for some reason. So I had to use like old candle lids to put on top. But that being said, <laughs> those are great candles. I have Summer Boardwalk. This is a perfect summer candle. Love it. This is pink Prosecco frosting. Such a beautiful style jar. But pink watermelon, which also was from a SAS a while back. And this one I don't have very much left in. And it has another random lid as well because these ones didn't come with lids for some reason. Chocolate, chocolate banana mudslide haven't burned yet i need to try that one it is caramel cream soda it's so crazy how they captured like the fizzy scent the carbonation so cool sprinkled birthday cake a classic like birthday cake scent is laundry day this is a huntington homes candle called ice cream s'mores and this one's really sweet and good as well this is a berry spritzer this was a SAS find for me as well. Dragon fruit tea, iced dragon fruit tea, like a Starbucks type of drink. There is this one all together. Let's move on to the next shelf. I feel like this is never ending. Candle, the first one I have here is called Confetti Cupcake from True Living. This is actually a Dollar General brand. I have honey wildflower. It's almost gone. I love this jar. I can't wait to like repurpose it. Here's a Huntington home one called Seaside Boardwalk. And then my cousin actually just gifted me this one for my birthday. It is by Sand and Fog. It's called Tahitian Vanilla. And I love the top. It's very cute. I haven't got a chance to burn it yet, but I can't wait. She just gave it to me yesterday. So very cute. Two of these ones from Huntington home called Coco Cove. They're like a blue coconut so I have that one and then I have one that's about halfway gone. So have two of these ones from them. They are called First Snow and these are perfect for winter. They're like a peppermint scent. And they also have a um, snowflake lid as well. I think I'm also going to include those DW home ones on this shelf since I don't really have another like perfect place for them. All right, let's move on to the bottom shelf. <laughs> a lot of the candles that I'm gonna put down here are by Crossroads, just because they aren't really the round, like circular type candle like a lot of my other ones. It doesn't have the name on the lid, but it's called Seaside Escape. It actually smells very good and beachy. I need to use it up though, because I had it kind of in the light and it's got a little discolored. <laughs> um, and then I have one from them that 
This one by them is called Lemon Cookie. That one smells delish. This is Caramel Apple. So yummy. This one is called Worm Brownie, which it smells like they're baking brownies at home. It smells so good. Mm. I think I actually put this one in a favorites video. And these last you forever. Like, they take forever to burn. These two are more uh, recent ones I picked up. We have Kettle Corn. This one is also a great one for fall. It smells just like Kettle Corn. Warm pretzel. This smells delicious. It smells like you're in the mall just chilling at Auntie Anne's. It's like a sweet oven baked pretzel. So good, like a soft pretzel. I also have two more that are from Mainstay. Um, this one is called Pumpkin Spice. And they're candles. These ones are really cute. I love the like frosted glass in the packaging. I got this one last year and it's taken me a while to get through it as well. But it has a great throw honestly. And I think it was only like $6 or something around there. These make perfect gifts for people as well. Um, and I also have one going in my room called Warm Apple Pie. I'm burning that one and my Pumpkin Apple from Bath & Body Works just to try to get those ones used up because they don't have much left in them. I also have a couple in my other room that are burning, so I'm not including them like in this video. I know I have the Pumpkin Cinnamon Bun one over there right now and maybe a couple others, but this is majority of my collection. So I will go ahead and give you guys an overview of everything. Thank you again so so much for watching today's video on my candle collection. I noticed some people this might not be a whole lot and to some it might be a lot of candles. I just love them and it brings me happiness. So if you guys enjoyed don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one.